Hello everyone, it's Susan from Susan's Nursery. So we have a little surprise today. So a Saturday, I won a giveaway from uh, Becca over at Becca's Happy Place. And she has um, a video that she does on Saturdays. And it's called Rocking with Becca. And she's giving away um, lightly used clothes. And um, some days she's, or some Saturdays, she's giving away um, reborns. Or, you know, uh, factory reborns. Or, you know, whatever she's wanting to give away. So, um, yeah. So, I just want to, um, give a shout out to Becca. Thank you, Becca, for giving me the opportunity, um, to win, um, some lightly used clothes from you. I appreciate it. Um, and I will put your link, Becca, down in my description. Well, I'll probably put it in the, uh, title. And that way, everybody can go over and check you out. <laughs> so, yeah, guys. Go over and check out Becca. She is a lovely, lovely uh, woman and um, friend. She is um, a fellow collector um, of Reborn Dolls. And she collects different kinds of dolls. Um, and uh, she displays them on her channel. With um, changes and chats. And then she has um, different kinds of videos she does. And role plays. And then of course her rocking with Becca. So uh, yeah. So go over and check her out. So we're going to see what is in my um giveaway box um i've seen her video where she showed me what was in here but we're going to see what uh, is in here and i haven't looked i've just opened these two panels so you guys won't see our mailing information so here we go pretty orange paper Oh, a pretty little unicorn card. So, it says, Susan, thank you so much for watching my videos and joining in the giveaways. I hope you enjoy these items. Hugs, Becca. Aw, Becca, thank you. So, let's see... Um, I know what's in here, but we're going to look at it. So, we have, let me see if you guys can see. Um, we have a little blue, new, uh, Carter's newborn onesie, or not onesie, sleeper that has a little, um, peachy pink little, um, out on it and then it's um feathers and different appliques on it and it's feet it's kind of like um a little bit um a little bit more shade of pink and then the peachy pink is around the little um neck and then there's some little peachy pink bows going down the little uh sleeper and then the sleeper has white polka dots on it. And then it has a little owl's uh, face on the foot with little 3D uh, owl ears. And then she's matched it with a beautiful bow with a pink uh, rose bow that has a rose, or not rose, 
pink <laughs> headbands. Okay, so that was a little sleeper. So next we have a little um, Disney baby newborn. And it is a cream color and it is um, lavender detailed with a little lavender pocket. <laughs> then it has lavender and baby pink. Um, different patterns on it. It has apples and roses and light yellow crowns and um, a little uh, light blue birds and some light uh, colored um, stars right here. You can barely see it. It's very light. And um, yeah, there's one and um purple shells and purple outlined castles and let's see oh the feet are just um purple and then it come with a purple bow with a white headband so that is that little sleeper and sorry we're not um usually in um we're not in my nursery. I haven't been feeling very well today. I had um, a doctor's appointment yesterday. And um, I haven't had my medicine for my high, high, high um, blood pressure. or Not blood pressure. High heart rate that goes with POTS. So, um... Uh, my heart rate was up and it's hard for me to walk and um, the generic I know I don't know if you guys take medication and you know most insurances won't pay for the real uh, brand name of the medication they pay for the generic have you ever got a hold of a bad generic guys well I think that's what I did because um when I did have the heart rate medicine, which was um, a couple of days before I ran out, and it didn't seem to be doing very well either. So, um, I think I just got a hold of a bad generic, and then um, I didn't have it for a couple of days because, um, yeah, just didn't have it. Some things happened and we weren't able to pick it up until uh, Monday. So, um, yeah. So, I had to go in there and walk and all this without my heart rate medicine. And it's just hard for me. And then, um, they wanted, um, it's my GI doctor. And, um, they wanted, um, me to get a Spritz, I believe is what it's called, a sp spritz marker study that shows, you know, you take the, you take a capsule and that the hospital gives you and they take an image of, um, your, uh, colon or, or I don't know where they take an image <laughs> and, um, then um, that pill has like markers in it and um, from the way the doctor explained it to me is if you have diarrhea if you know if you're having like diarrhea then there won't be that many markers left when they do the initial scan of your or your image of your um, colon and all that and then if there's, you know, quite a bit of the markers still there, then you have constipation. So, he wanted to know, you know, if I was having, since I'm having a mix, which I know that's gross. But anyway, um, he wanted to see which one I'm having uh, trouble with. So, so we can go from there. Because, um, he did say I was having symptoms of IBS, but he just wanted to know 
uh, before he started treating me to do that test so we could see where my area of um, need was at, either constipation or diarrhea. So, yeah, and they didn't tell me where I would get the pill. So, um, a different person checked me out than the regular people at the front. And, um, I asked her and she really didn't know. She said she thought the hospital gave it to me. So, uh, cause they were getting ready for lunch. So that's why there wasn't another person up there to check somebody out, um, to check me out. Uh, so it was a different person. So, um, I got the information and just went to my car and I called, um, Prestwood, which is the hospital and asked them and they said no. So I tried to call the doctor's office back and they'd already turned their phone off to say they were out for lunch <laughs> and they went to lunch at, <clears throat> excuse me, 1130 to one o'clock and that doctor's an hour and about 10 minutes away from my home so I didn't want to come back home and then call them and figure it out because you know what if I would have had to picked up the pill somewhere else because they didn't I mean they didn't really explain uh he talked like I would take the pill the doctor did but he didn't tell me where I would get it from and then the lady that checked me out didn't really know so, when I called Crestwood, the, the hospital, they said no. So, um, <laughs> so then, um, I called the doctor's office. I, I stayed in town. I stayed in that town till one o'clock. Um, I actually just, uh, went and got me some lunch. Went to a Burger King down the road and got me some lunch. And, you know, chilled out. It's easier for me to stay in my car instead of getting out and walking around. Especially when I'm by myself. Um, it's easier for me to stay in my car. So, I found me a shade tree and set my car and ate me some lunch and watched some YouTube videos and, um, waited till one o'clock, um, and then I called them and left a message with the nurse because the people um, that set up the appointments wasn't answering. So, I just left a message with the nurse. Well, she called me back very shortly after that and just plainly said, you'll get it from the nurse or you'll get it from the hospital. And I was like, well... I thought the doctor said that it, I would have to have it in my system for two or three days before it showed anything. So, she didn't actually explain it. She just said that they would give it to me at the doctor's office, at, at the appointment, which is Monday. And my doctor's office, that was yesterday, so that was Thursday. The doctor's office for my GI doctor is closed on Fridays because they do most of their procedures on Fridays, like their, uh, colonoscopies and their, uh, the up, I don't remember, I don't remember what that's called, but like the upper where they put the, um, camera down your throat, and look in your stomach. They do a lot of those procedures on Fridays. So, um, yeah. So, anyway, <laughs> I was telling my husband, uh, when I got back home, I tried to call him. And get it figured out. Because I told him, I said, I don't want to show up there Monday. And don't have what I need to do the study. And waste all that gas going down there and back. And I don't know. So, I called, um, this morning I called the hospital. Well, the lady that answered the phone... She was just the scheduler. So she said, if you hold on just a minute, I'll send you to the nurse. Well, she sent me to the front office of the nurse's station. 
and then they sent me back to the nurse and she explained it to me she said you'll come monday we'll give you the pill and then we'll do a um x-ray of your colon and everything or whatever the doctor wants a picture of and then um you'll come in according to the doctor's um according to the doctor's plan uh, orders you'll come in uh that many times initially up until like three to four days after the pill's been in your system so we can see you know the markers so she explained it to me so i was fine with it but um you know the doctor's office should explain it to me and i had to stay there and sit there in the heat and walk around and all that and then i come home and crashed like i usually do and i didn't sleep very good last night and i stayed up in my nursery trying to clean it up and all that and i can't get very far because i get tired <laughs> so um and then i come in here and try to sleep and i couldn't sleep and i finally went to sleep about four o'clock this morning and didn't wake up till uh almost 12. so i just feel pretty bad today I don't know what it is, but that's why we're in here. And I'm sorry, um, I, I took y'all around the world to tell y'all the story. <laughs> so, the next thing is a H and M, and it is, let's see what it's size. Uh, U.S. is preem, preemie, preemie. Yeah, U.S. is preemie, but it looks a little big. So, it'd probably be like a little newborn. And it's like a pale pink, and it um, buttons up the side, and she's got a pretty little um, bow, a pink bow to go with it, and then it has um, a little pair of, um, same thing, H&M, it's preemie, but it looks like it's about a newborn, and it's the same little pale pink color. And it has um, little ruffles at, at the bottom of the little diaper cover or the little shorts, you know, bubble shorts, whatever you want to call them. <laughs> and it's a little pale pink. Cute little set. And then we have this beautiful Gerber newborn. It's a cream color. And it has light pink around the neck and shoulders. And um, it says with dark, dark pink letters, it says sprinkle. And then, or sparkle, excuse me, <laughs> sparkle. And then light pink, it says like a princess. And then on the top of the P, it has a gold crown. And then the skirt is, um, it has like a fluffy skirt at the bottom, like a tutu skirt, and it's pale pink. And then the bottom of the, um, the bottom of it is like a onesie that has, you know, the buttons. And then there's a little pink bow at the bottom as well. And then we have this beautiful little um, Gerber newborn. It says uh, five to six pounds. And it's like a dark brown. I love this. It is so pretty. Um, it's a dark brown and it has pink outline. And then there's white polka dots on it and in um different colored letters it says pretty and the letters are a light dark pink and white and then there's some brown spots on some of it and outline of some of the letters in brown on it and the bottom is also lined in pink and then it has a beautiful pink bow that goes with it with the bands being a beautiful light pink lace so then the last thing guys is 
a uh, mossy oak newborn and it is a like a pink camouflage that has like a dark burgundy outline on the neck and shoulders and around um the sleeves they're kind of like um ruffled around the sleeves and it says hunting for hugs and the hunting hunting and hugs is in that dark burgundy color and then you have the um uh pink heart that's in the middle it's a little bit of a darker pink than the onesie and then four is in white and then the middle of the zero or the o and four is a little heart and then there's a gold arrow going um through the heart and then the bottom has the um burgundy lining at the bottom around the legs and then she has a brown bow attached to go with it so um yeah that is such a beautiful prize and again um i want to thank you becca for um giving me the opportunity to um win this giveaway i love your channel and um so i just want to say um thanks becca for the giveaway and the beautiful card um and the beautiful clothes thank you for um giving me the opportunity to win it and again guys go over and check out becca and she is giving away um like I said, in her um, Rocking with Becca's, and sometimes she does um, hidden videos, or hidden um, giveaways on her videos through the week. So, um, you guys should go over there and check her out. She does wonderful um, videos. She is a wonderful friend and lady, and she makes some very interesting little videos with her babies and she's got bunches of beautiful babies and everything so make sure you go over and check her out i'll put her link to her channel in the title and you can just click on it and it'll take you to her channel and go give her some youtube love so you guys have a wonderful wonderful day i don't know if i will be back today or not depends on how i feel um, me and my son might go in my nursery and um, I'm going to have to get me a recruitment <laughs> to help because I get I only can do a little bit and then I get tired. So um, I'm going to have to get him in there and help me. So um, I don't know if I'll be back today or if it'll be tomorrow. So um, or it might even be Sunday. But, um, we'll be back one day, guys, and, um, uh, do a video for you guys, and I have a surprise. It's a surprise video, and it is going to be fun. So, you guys have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your afternoon, your Friday afternoon, and we shall see you in a couple of days or so. So, bye for now, guys.